So today we're going to install this smart brake module I ordered for Christmas this year. That's a little Christmas gift to myself. In the box you'll find the module itself, um, a wiring diagram, and all the connectors you need to basically get this thing hooked up. It looks like a very simple project, but first thing we're going to take a look at is the wiring diagram they provide us with. Now they have it all laid out here for each brand of motorcycle to let you know exactly which color wire to connect to. Now, I looked at this, and for my bike, although it's a Honda, the wiring diagram is wrong. The color code is wrong. That's why I recommend doing a quick Google search and pulling up the color, the wiring diagram for your specific bike. So here's the one I found online for my bike. I have a 2013 NC700X. And the two things we're looking for here are the brake light or tail light, which I have circled on the right, and the brake switch, which I have circled at the top. They also let you know exactly which wires are for what. So we look first at the rear brake light switch. You see it's a green, yellow, and a pink, blue. That pink, blue is our power feed in. That green, yellow is what feeds the power out to the brake light. You can tell by the little arm part on where the brake light switch is. We go over to the picture of the brake light itself. In the middle, G is ground, which is green. The green, yellow, and then the pink, blue. So we know the wires we're looking for are green, green, yellow, and pink, blue. And later on, you'll see we'll match those up when we do the install. Now we're at the bike. Uh, get to our wires. For my bike, it's simple. We just drop this panel here, which is held on by the one screw, and we'll find our wires. This is for our tail light, brake light. These are our two turn signals. We don't care about those right now. This is what we're getting to. So, according to our wire diagram, our green is our ground, our green yellow is our brake light. And our pink blue here is what feeds for the tail light or our power. So we go to our kit that came with it and we get our connectors. The connectors we're working with are these connectors right here. So we're going to take these and put one on each wire. They fold over, you squeeze them down, and then it gives you a connection on the wire. So we we'll start with our green yellow, which is our brake light. Take this here. I'm going far up here because I have other connectors I'm going to make later. I'm going to lay the wire in there. Bring this over. Squeeze down. And I may need to use a pair of pliers in order to get it to bite through the wire. Grab our pliers. Just using my multi-tool pliers because I wanted to go get my whole tool kit. Put that there. I'm making this look a lot more difficult than it really is. Squeeze down. And now it will fit into the wire. So we can barely rotate it. So we should have a connection in the wire now. And we're gonna do that for all three wires. Now those connectors are connected. We're gonna take care of our mount module here. Um, they want you to mount this arrow facing forward on as level of surface as you could find. Now it could be labeled up or labeled down. Doesn't matter if you go labeled down, it makes a brake light flash. If you go label up, it doesn't make so the brake light is solid. I'm gonna go label up because I already have a brake light flasher. And I'm not sure how a flasher will work with another flasher. So we're gonna take this and right here is an opening that will take us to where our connectors are. I'm gonna push this through here. And pull the wires out the other side. Way. I don't know if I can go there. That might be in the way. So maybe, well, let's see. What we do is we could try to close the trunk and make sure we're not going to hit it, right? Let's see here. I think we have clearance. Open it back up and check. I know 
a second little delay. I had to get the key. I think we clear. Let me take one more peek at it as it goes down. Yeah, I don't think I'm hitting it. And I think it'll be fine. So that's where we mount that. So we'll get some double-sided tape and we'll stick that right there on top of the fuel tank. We could probably go here also, and this should be right there. Let me see. Yeah, we'll probably go with that. Probably put it there. Now we establish where we're gonna put that. Again, double-sided tape will hold that in place. So let's make our connections, and we'll be good to go. So now we have our connectors on. We refer back to their instructions, and they tell us what wire to put to which connector. Now, this here is wrong for my bike. I have a Honda, but that's wrong. Let's see if we can get that in focus for you, I'm sorry. Yeah, let's try it, there we go. Yeah, that color code is wrong, but I looked up on my wiring diagram to find the correct color code, and that's the color code I'm gonna use. So for mine, green is negative, which is right. The one going to the switch is green, yellow, that should, that should be green, yellow, not green, red. And then up here should be pink, blue, not brown, white. So the red is going to go pink, blue. The gray is going to go green, yellow. Black goes to green. So let's take our wires. We said black goes to solid green, which is here. Sure, that's on there all the way. Gray goes to green, yellow, which is our brake light. Again, we'll make sure they're on all the way. And this comes to our pink blue, which is the power source or the tail light. Alright. Now we could clean all this wire up, get all this back up in here, screw the panel up, make sure everything's secured, and basically we're done. Uh, so hopefully this video helps you out. If you have any questions, please ask in the comments. I'll do my best to get back to you. As usual, please subscribe to my channel. And uh, looking forward to seeing you in the next video when I actually wire up the top box, top box of the brake lights. It's going to be a... Uh, Quite the fiasco of all the other stuff in here. All right. Thank you.